Pakistan came on the world's map on 14th August 1947 and that too after a lot of sacrifices by the Muslims of the subcontinent. As per the plan of 3rd June, the Indian subcontinent was to be divided into two separate countries, that is Pakistan and India. In the night between 14th and 15th August 1947, the British government announced the independence and division of the Indian subcontinent. Tonight, giving the final decision of His Majesty's government as to the method by which power will be transferred from British to Indian hands. I must honestly appeal to every community, and particularly to Muslim India. After the 1857 fight for independence, the British government declared the Muslims as the main culprits and considered the Muslims as the sole reason of 1857 fight for independence. The British considering Muslims as culprits started the revenge policy. Their properties were confiscated and Muslims were fired from all sorts of jobs. No Muslims were supposed to be hired in government setup or machinery. The Muslims were refrained from any sort of political presence or activities. This all resulted in having a devastated effect on the Muslim population of the subcontinent. This was the time when Mr. Sir Sayyid Ahmad Khan, a famous scholar and activist, started the protest named as Aligarh Tehreek. The purpose of this movement was to improve the overall situations of Muslims, particularly related to their educational, economic and social reforms. Due to these efforts, the conditions of Muslims started to improve. Sir Sayyid Ahmad Khan was the first person who considered and narrated the Muslims of subcontinent as separate nation. He was of the ideology that Hindus and Muslims are two totally different nations. Later on, Qaidiyazam Muhammad Ali Jinnah and Dr. Allama Iqbal based their political movement on the same ideology. In the year 1885, the All Indian National Congress came into existence. Their policies started to impact the Muslims in an adverse manner. As per the Act of 1862 until the year 1906, no Muslims were elected as a member of the council. All this resulted in severe distrust among the Muslims and Hindus. To safeguard the Muslim rights, on 30th September 1906, the Muslim League was established. The combined efforts of Hindus and Muslims were greatly affected and marginalized by Hindu extremist groups. In 1928, Mr. Nehru from All Indian National Congress prepared and announced a report based on which the Muslim rights were greatly banished. In reply to this report, in 1929, Qaidiyazam Muhammad Ali Jinnah presented his famous 14 points report in order to safeguard the rights of Muslims in Indian subcontinent. In 1930, based on this report, at Muslim League Annual Conference, Dr. Allama Iqbal formally presented the idea of a separate state for Muslims. On 23rd March 1940, at Lahore in All India Muslim League Conference, the resolution of separate state of Pakistan was approved. This was and still is considered as a big milestone towards the establishment of Pakistan. It was due to the continuous efforts of the Muslims that on 14th August 1947, the separate state of Pakistan came into existence. <laughs>